Hello again. Um, I decided I'm gonna do like at least one more review for tonight. Um, mainly because there's it's basically another doll I really want to review today. Um, this time I'm gonna review the, uh, another new doll brand that came out last year. Live dolls. I really I think these are actually really cool dolls. Um, one thing like I said before, I love that they are very bendable, and you can just do all kinds of cool stuff with them. What's going on? <laughs> but basically, yeah, you're able to. That's, that is one of the cool things about it. There's a lot of positive things about these dolls in me. For one thing, though, you can, like, they have, like, two different hairstyles for one. And you can, like, like pop this one off, which, when she has it off, it kind of looks like her hair was burned off or she shaved it. And just slip another one on. I think that's kind of cool thing, though. I mean, like, apparently, like, all their dolls are going to be like this. They're all going to be bendable, and they're all going to be... You know, have their hair can come on and off. There's only like one complaint I have. I don't like her outfit, but that's basically it. But I mean, like, they have many other collections I could have come out to. So give it time. I mean, I did see like this. I was at like Walmart the other day, and I did see this um, new collection of them. And it had like this girl, this one right here. She um, and she had this really cool outfit on, and I liked it a lot better than this. But you know, actually, I think these are really, really cool dolls. One thing I really also like are the eyes. They're very detailed. I mean, when I first got her eyes, look kind of cross-eyed. I don't know if they still do, but... It's evil. Her eyes are... I think it's freaky, but... Her eyes are really detailed. Some people... A couple people find it crazy, creepy, but... I think it looks really cool. And, like... She, she, they just seem like pretty cool dolls. I mean, you could just do just about anything with them. That's one of the cool things when it comes to dolls is when they're bendable, you just do almost anything with them. Like, when it comes to playing with them, it's so much easier being able to play with them. I got her, like, weeks ago, some point after Christmas. Um, so far, she's the only one I have. But I hope to get a couple more eventually as time goes by. And I really do want to collect a couple more of these. I think they're pretty cool. Be able to do a lot with them. No, I've heard like a lot of controversies that people have saying these are copyright dolls. I wouldn't really go far as saying as they are, but it is kind of coincidental that um, their collections are very similar to the Bratz. They have the blonde, blue-eyed girl. They got the Asian girl. They got the um, I don't know if the live doll girl is Hispanic, but they got you know the brown-haired chick, and then they got the African-American girl. No, but I really wouldn't say they are copying unless there's actual proof. But I still think these dolls are pretty cool, though, regardless. Like, my only other complaint is that I wish they were a little bit cuter. They're pretty, but I like cute dolls more. But that's my opinion, I guess. But I still really recommend this. If I were to rate her, nine and a half. Definitely nine and a half. Would have been ten if just a tad cuter. But that's my only complaint. But that's my opinion again. But if anyone wants to, anyone just wants to comment or rate, send me a note, etc. You know, whatever. Just tell me what you think. And you know, if you have any other questions and stuff about the doll or anything, feel free to ask, and I will be more than happy to answer. All right. Thank you for watching my videos.